It's all very low rise now. But 50 years ago today, at just before 6 a.m., one corner of a tower block collapsed. You can actually see it, I just couldn't believe my eyes. Ray still lives on this estate, now rebuilt. Behind that was Ronan Point. And he was just 21 when he watched the collapse from his living room in a neighbouring tower block. I oh, this big explosion and uh, I see this flat side coming down and everyone in our block was screaming and shouting. These are fire brigade pictures taken inside the flat on the 18th floor where there was a gas explosion. It blew out an external wall and once it had gone, all the other walls above and below progressively collapsed, killing four people. But were all the lessons learned about the weaknesses of this type of tower block? 50 years on, Ray still isn't convinced. They haven't learned, haven't learned at all. They've let this go on. Ronan Point was rebuilt, but then demolished, along with neighbouring blocks because of structural weakness. But around London, there are similar blocks still standing today. I believe that no lessons were learned from the Ronan Point disaster. Claudia has lived for 20 years on the Ledbury estate in Peckham, but it was only last year that the council decided it wasn't safe to have gas supplies in these blocks and pulled it out. Because just like Ronan Point, the structure is too weak to cope with an explosion. We should have never had gas here because of the risk of explosion. So th that makes me angry. Southwark Council says it had no responsibility for the fitting of gas. It's making significant progress on fixing the estate's issues, which it says is safe and not in danger of collapse. But over in Haringey, the Broadwater Farm estate was also built using the same techniques as Ronan Point, and only now is the gas also being removed from many blocks. We feel we're very unsafe. Juan Carlos, who's lived here with his family for eight years, says the council has swapped his gas hob for an electric one. But his gas boiler is still connected and he won't feel safe until that goes as well. There's no, no answers, no, no communication. I like, you know, to, today to remove the gas, make everything safe. Haringey Council says the risk is very low and a district heating system is to be installed, which will remove gas from the blocks entirely. But housing campaigner Danielle has been asking for information about safety checks on every building with this structure in London. And these blocks in Fulham have also been found to be weak. The council says they never had gas, they've been strengthened and are safe. But Danielle still has concerns. If any of the large panels are compromised in any way, and that could be through a fire, vehicle impact, strong winds, part of the building could collapse, like we saw at Renning Point. The councils involved insist this could never happen again. The remaining blocks, they say, are safe. But 50 years on, some residents and some people who witnessed the disaster are still concerned and they want action to either fix the issues with these blocks or replace them all. Gareth Furby, BBC London News.